Fire truck. How do I get out of this thing? <laughs> Fall out. Hey! Right here. Hi, my name is Janie Lee and I'm an interior designer. My specialty would be doing classic designs using modern accents to design with the environment in mind. I think it's really important that we can take something, we can reuse it and repurpose it into something beautiful. Hey. So I assume you're Stacy and Scott. And we got your 911 call. But we'd love to see your house. Okay. Right. Lead the way. All right. All right. Show in. us what you Perfect. got. Perfect. Thanks. Hi, I'm Ryan Johnson. I'm a designer and licensed general contractor. My design aesthetic is more elegantly casual. I like spaces that you could walk in, kind of put your feet up on the sofa if you want. The family's amazing here. I know they've been through some challenges in their life at a very young age, especially with a little child. They're very positive, upbeat, happy people. The house is a little um, challenged here and there. I think it was definitely up for a 911 call. There's not a lot of design, there's not a lot of warmth, and not really a lot of personality. And that's why we're here. We're gonna take care of that for them. You can see the wheels turning in their head, like they, they're getting ideas and they're, they're getting things kind of figured out. The biggest struggle with our living room, it just lacks any personality or, or definition. It's just a cross between housing animals and a, a toddler like playroom right now and it's not being used to its fullest potential. Our turtle lives in this uh, aquarium which is very large. I have difficulties cleaning that now because it, it's higher up and I can't like, get my hand in there to hold a brush and scrub the walls and stuff. So algae has collected in there and it's not very appealing. <laughs> We have a little boy, um, our son's name is Jacob, but uh, he just turned two. I'm sure there's a little drippage here and there. Maybe carpet is not the best idea with a two-year-old. It's just like a great element. We still have a wood burning fireplace, but it, it just goes unnoticed and, and unused. I have a really fabulous coffee table that is hanging out by the wall right now, so I'd love for that to be a focal point. <laughs> One of the things I've hated most about this house, there is an ugly fluorescent light dome in the kitchen. The lighting in there is horrific. That's just something I could not live in in a house that I've worked in. <laughs> so we'll be pulling down the plastic dome and changing out the kitchen ceiling quite a bit. The one thing that is really difficult for me in there is the microwave. I can't I can't reach to use it. So the microwave is a bit of a challenge at the moment. We put up cabinets. One of them's slipping to access our middle cabinet. You kind of have to pull on it with all your weight. And I'm afraid I'm going to pull the cabinet off the wall. When I originally heard that Scott was a musician, I was thinking, oh cool, we could do a Rat Pack Gentleman's Club kind of thing. And then we got here on site and found out that he likes punk rock. I would love to have some type of CD storage so that I could get my hands on that closet. I know he's a little protective about his man cave, but we are going to try very hard to keep it a man cave, but put more of a design element to it. Before I was in the wheelchair, you, you could crawl behind things. You have a lot more options for accessing things, moving around, and I don't, I don't have that option now. The room is really set up for someone who, who is a lot more mobile. One of the things we struggle with is space for Jacob's toys. They're everywhere. They're in his room, they're in the living room, they're in the family room. Wherever he goes, his stuff goes with him. We have to add storage. Right now, they have things kind of piled all over the house. It's very cluttered right now. There's copy paper boxes and Tupperware. The biggest thing I think we need in the master bedroom is, is furniture that, that allows us to store stuff, but doesn't get in the way of, of me being able to maneuver around in there. We have a kind of an overall turtle theme in our house. We love turtles, so that's one aspect that we're gonna incorporate. I think it'll be fun to add some turtles on Jacob's wall. I haven't let go of a lot of these outgrown clothes. They're just in the diaper boxes stacked up. You know, outside of his closet, it'd be great to you know, have that organized and close his closet door. You know, a couple places, some wider doorways would be nice. I'm able to fit through most of the doorways, but they are pretty narrow and I end up scraping my knuckles on them. I can't wait to get started. I know, it's going to be exciting. Just so we're clear, you like purple, pink, and orange, right? <laughs> uh, only I'm on not Tuesdays ordered. and Thursdays. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. We're really excited to get started and we hope that you're going to love the space when you come back. Right. We look forward to it. Yeah. All right, we have hammers right waiting. All right, well, <laughs> have fun. Yeah. We'll send you pictures. Come on, Jake. You know, redoing basically a 2,500 square foot house in about five days is a little nerve wracking. I'm, I'm pretty nervous about the whole thing, really. I mean, it, it's your house. You, you get used to how things are, even if it is, is a mess or, or isn't ideal. We're gonna focus on storage and making it more functional for Scott, also making it a beautiful space.
brought to you by PNG Future Friendly.